Let George Do It was a radio drama series produced by Owen and Pauline Vinson from 1946 to 1954. It starred Bob Bailey as Detective for Hire, George Valentine, with Olin Soul stepping into the role in 1954. Clients came to Valentine's office after reading a newspaper carrying his classified ad, Personal Notice, Dangers My Stock and Trade. If the job's too tough for you to handle, you've got a job for me, George Valentine. The few earliest episodes were more sitcom than private eye shows, with a studio audience providing scattered laughter at the not-so-funny scripts. Soon the audience was banished, and George went from a stumbling comedic hero to tough guy private eye and the music from Wah 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 to Suspenseful. Valentine's secretary was Claire Brooks, a.k.a. Brooksy. Brooksy was later played by Francis Robinson, Virginia Gregg, and Lillian Bioff. As Valentine made his rounds in search of the bad guys, he usually encountered Brooksy's kid brother, Sonny, played by Eddie Firestone, Lieutenant Riley, acted by Wally Mayer, and Joseph Kearns as elevator man, Caleb. For the first few shows, Sonny was George's assistant, but he was soon relegated to an occasional character. Sponsored by Standard Oil, the program was broadcast on the West Coast Mutual Broadcasting System from October 18, 1946 to September 27, 1954. First on Friday evenings and then on Mondays. In its last season, transcriptions were aired in New York on Wednesdays at 9.30 p.m. from January 20, 1954 to January 12, 1955. John Heinstead was the program's announcer. Don Clark directed the scripts by David Victor and Jackson Gillis. The background music was supplied by Eddie Dunstetter, initially with a full orchestra. When television surplanted radio as the country's primary home entertainment, radio budgets got skimpier and skimpier, and Dunstetter's orchestra was replaced by an organ. I am your announcer, Bob Hicks. Please enjoy the shows. <laughs> 